Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. This is another Match Day Live episode today. Arsenal are at home taking on Crystal Palace. Now we've changed things up a little bit for this game. We are adding in Aubameyang because he has been linked and it could have been done by the time this video goes live. But before that, let's check out my sponsors. Now this video is sponsored by One Football Football app and as you can see now we are going to be covering a little bit of the app today and the link is in the description down below if you want to go ahead and download it and you can keep up to date with all your footballing news stats and all that kind of stuff. Now as you can see on the screen we do have the top news right now is that Alexis Sanchez is likely to be joining Manchester United in 24 hours. Now I am recording this on the Thursday so by the time this video actually goes live on Saturday morning uh, no doubt it could have been all done and dusted by then and it could be making his Manchester United debut and um, by the time this video is live but also as we are covering the Arsenal versus Crystal Palace game as you can see and um, there is the information for it right now when we just have um, chosen or at least predicted that Arsenal are going to be winning and there you can see everybody else has also predicted 77% that Arsenal will win tonight or today even uh, also, you, you will have all the stats and lineups as the game is kicking off, so you can um, have notifications all linked up to your phone. So if anything happens during the game, any goals, sending goals offs, uh, your phone will let you know. Uh, so let's just have a quick look at the Arsenal transfers. As you can see, the Theo Walcott transfer was done in the week, so this app lets you know of all the transfer rumours. And of course, the Olivier Giroud to Borussia Dortmund is still up there, and of course, Aubameyang might be coming in the opposite way. So also on this app, as you can see, there are all the fixtures for today's game. Uh, Chelsea and Brighton will be underway as this video goes live. What is the afternoon game? Um, Manchester City versus Newcastle United. So that's going to be an interesting one there. And after Manchester City lost last week against Liverpool, of course. And you can have a look at the league table as well. We'll go ahead and do that. Manchester City running away with it. 12 points clear as the things stand on Thursday. Arsenal got some work to do, they're still in 6th place as you see there, so we've got some work to do if we're going to be catching up with Tottenham, and looks like impossible to be getting into the top 4, currently 8 points away from that, but as you can, as you can see, very very in-depth app, very very good, and it also shows you the rest of the transfer rumours along the Premier League, I think it's got it all around the world, so you can check your stats and stuff all around the world, and you can choose what um, competition you want to follow as well so a very good very very good app guys go check it out as I said the link is in the description down below get it downloaded let me know when you've got it downloaded just use that link so let's get back to the action so we just saw where Arsenal currently sit in the league they are in sixth place but Crystal Palace themselves they are down in 12 which is actually not too bad for saying the start of the season that they had it was pretty poor but they've had a change of manager and they're doing pretty well right now they've um, not lost in the last three games in the Premier League and Arsenal of course haven't even won so far in 2018 at all. I think we're four games in and we have yet to win our first game. So hopefully we can do that here against Crystal Palace. Surely we've got to be the favourites going into this one. I'm hoping that we've made a signing or two before this game actually kicks off. As I said we are recording this on the Thursday and there is a lot of rumours going around that we could make a signing or two before the weekend. Uh, so hopefully by this time the video is actually up, we have made those important signings. But we'll wait and see. Still a while to go before the end of the transfer window anyway. I think just under two weeks. Uh, so it's going to be a very, very busy and interesting period. Not just for Arsenal, but for everybody else around the Premier League and through Europe as well. So let's see how we can get on in this game. As I said, Arsenal got to be the favourites going into this one. We are at home as well. So that gives the home advantage. Crystal Palace are in good form, so no doubt they will be looking to put in a shock result. But well, fingers crossed, they don't allow Arsenal don't allow, allow that to happen. Uh, but Arsenal right now still looking for the first goal in this game. 24 minutes in, as you saw at the start of the episode as well, we did add a Bamiyan to the Arsenal eleven. We've also got Mkhitaryan in the starting eleven for Arsenal. And we've got them both either side of Lacazette who's just gone through there and given Arsenal the one goal lead 25 minutes in. And there is Mkhitaryan and of course Aubameyang standing on the billboard there celebrating with his new Arsenal fans, uh, new Arsenal teammates sorry, and the Arsenal fans. And hopefully that is a good sign of things to come. Hopefully we can get that deal done. Hopefully it's done by the time this video is up. Mkhitaryan too. I'm not really sure about the Mkhitaryan deal. I've never really been a big fan of him but I've got to say 
I will admit I haven't watched him play that much. Uh, so he might come in and change things up. Uh, also, whilst we are here, Theo Walcott did, of course, join Everton in midweek. We saw that in the app news as well. Uh, so I wish him all the best. I have been, I've always been a fan of Theo Walcott, but over the 12 years, he's just not really improved at all, has he? Um, so I wish him all the best at Everton. I think it was his time up. So good move for him. Good move for Arsenal. We got 20 million for him, a little over, I think. Um, so I wish him all the best. Hopefully, he can kick off at Everton the way he should have really done here at Arsenal. But as you can see, somebody who's kicking off their good start is Aubameyang. His shot goes in low bottom corner, in off the woodwork, giving Arsenal a two-goal lead. Just over half an hour gone here at the Emirates Stadium. It is Arsenal 2, Crystal Palace 0. And we are going to try and get Mkhitaryan a goal here. And he is playing as a right-sided forward. And we'll still try and push him forward to try and get him in that goal area to try and grab in the, a goal on his debut. That'll be a nice way to start his Arsenal career if indeed he is going to be joining Arsenal. And we could be losing Giroud as well in this window. There's been talk of him going to Borussia Dortmund as, again as we also saw in the One Football app yeah, on the transfer of rumours. He could be in with that Aubameyang deal but there is Lacazette again going through and who needs all these signings when Lacazette can go through and score goals like that. That is now Arsenal three goals up. And we are looking very good to get in our first win of 2018 and our first three points of the year as well. So, 3-0 up. We are playing into the final five minutes of this first period and we're still looking for another goal. Can we go on and get another? We still want Mkhitaryan to get on the goal sh uh, score sheet, of course. We've got a Aubameyang in there. We've got Lacazette two goals. We could actually try and get Lacazette a hat-trick. Uh, but Wilfred Zaha, who's also actually linked with a move to Arsenal, thankfully that didn't move. Uh, he's a good player, but I don't think he's quite the talent of an Arsenal player. Uh, but you never know what could happen. I've seen stranger things happen, especially in the January transfer windows. Uh, but a good chance there for Crystal Palace, but the Arsenal keeper, Peter Cech, he was on form to keep that one out and keep himself a nice clean sheet. Hopefully he'll continue that all the way to the end of the game. We are on the stroke half time now. Arsenal just need to get this ball clear and then we can jump into the second half, which we do right now. Two minutes into this second half and Arsenal still holding on to a nice comfortable 3-0 win and we're pushing forward for a fourth here. Can we go through? Good defending there from Palace. They get the ball clear and it does go out of play for an Arsenal throw, which is taken pretty quickly towards Mkhitaryan, who plays inside there for Xhaka. Mkhitaryan again played inside for Aubameyang, but again, the defence was on it and they clear it away for another Arsenal throw. Here is Granit Xhaka then for Arsenal. Now El Nenny. I was also sad to see Coquelin go to Valencia. He made his mid-week debut as well, I believe, for the Spanish side. And another player who I wish all the best in his future career. I'm a big fan of Coquelin, more so than Theo Walker, I have to say. So it was sad for him to leave, at least for me. Yeah, but let's continue on then with this game. 15 minutes remaining. We're just waiting for that final whistle, really. We've got the three points wrapped up. Crystal Palace are not going to be getting themselves back into this game, but can we push forward and get ourselves a fourth goal? Nice bit of skill there from Lacazette, and surely we are not going to miss from there. The low-driven effort past the goalkeeper, giving Arsenal a four-goal lead. Just over 10 minutes remaining, and of course that also is Lacazette's hat-trick in this game. The absolutely fantastic if he can get a hat-trick this weekend. Also celebrating there with Aubameyang and Mkhitaryan. And nice bit of skill there to get past the defender. Poor defending, in fact, there from the Crystal Palace um, centre-back. But we'll take it. Arsenal 4, Crystal Palace 0. Fans got to be happy with this. Uh, I think they've always been worried about Alexis Sanchez leaving, but I don't think it's going to be such a problem, especially if Lacazette can start banging in the goals left, right and centre, because we all know that he has got plenty of goals in him. And it does also look like Meza Ozil is going to be staying at Arsenal in January. I don't think he's moving. I think, in fact, Arsene Wenger did confirm in midweek that he will be staying and not moving at all in this window. Maybe, though, he could move in the summer. We also need to get this ball away. Do not give away a goal. We want the clean sheet, please. We're leading four goals still. Maybe one last attack here for a fifth. No, there is the final whistle. But we'll take a nice victory there. Four goals to nil to Arsenal. Aubameyang scoring on his debut. Hopefully that deal can get sorted before the weekend. He can possibly make his debut this weekend. But by the time this video is up, all these deals are probably cancelled and nobody's moving anywhere. But you never know. 
Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed the episode. Le leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And once again, thank you all for your continued support and, and for helping us reach over 10,000 subscribers. And I'll see you guys in the next one.